and gentlemen, I'm in a halfway discreet uh, location where I pulled off the wheelie video where I was practicing for, uh, practi well, practicing for myself, but practicing with nickname. But uh, I'm going to be going over uh, the wheelie tips again. Uh, it's going to be fairly quick because I want to try and get it in, in a 10 minute video. So I'm going to go from beginner to, I don't know, I'd say intermediate and advanced. So beginner is going to be in first gear, recommended first gear. And what you're going to want to do is go through your gear and pop the clutch with one finger. So if it doesn't come up, you're going to want to increase your uh, increase the throttle just a little bit more and see how it goes. So you're going to be able to see it on both cameras, throttle and clutch uh, motions. So that's probably what it's going to look like to begin with. Give it more throttle. It's going to be harder to jump. If it doesn't work for you, give it some more throttle. And it'll, it'll continue to progress. So as you're, as you're giving it more throttle, you're going to want to keep the uh, pretty much your only baseline is going to be your clutch hand so if you pop the clutch the same way every time it's going to be pretty easy to figure out how much throttle you're going to need depending on what gear and what speed you're going at so let's try and increase the throttle a little bit more and you'll see the front wheel you'll start feeling the front wheel come up just slightly a little bit more that was a lot a bit more than what you normally be used to um, but yeah if you don't get it just go slow and increase your uh, throttle inputs just slightly you don't want to you don't want to increase it a lot so a good way to gauge that is also by your uh, gauge cluster like let's say you want to like you'll see that you're gonna pop it at 6,000 rpms or 8,000 uh, 9,000 10,000 whatever you don't want to go that high but I'm using that as a for instance but that's also going to depend on how hard or how far back you crank on your, thr um, your throttle. So that's, that's going to pretty much depend on everything. Also another thing is you're going to want to slow down every time from uh, when you're restarting your wheelies. If you don't slow down you're not going to you're not gonna have a good enough baseline. So you'll be continually trying to get more RPMs, get more RPMs to uh, bring the front end up. Now this is for just popping the clutch. I don't do any um, throttle chopping to get the front end up on power wheelies or whatever, but that's just preference. I feel that clutching it up is safer. So let's give it some more uh, throttle. This should be somewhat intermediate in first gear, which I only recommend for 600s. Thousands, you might want to put it in second. All right, now let's do a second gear. These are all these are all sit downs. If you can, if you're watching the GoPro, these are all sit down wheelies. So second gear. Now second gear is a little bit different. Oh, by the way, first gear I was leaving the throttle in one position. You're, you're going to have to give more gas as you go on first gear, but second gear is a little bit trickier. Um, you're going to want to give it throttle first, or uh, excuse me, you're going to want to hold in the clutch, give it thr uh, throttle, and then release clutch. You'll see it on the GoPros, and that'll get the front end up. Ow, Jesus. I remind you that uh, you should always cover the rear brake. I came down fucking hard as shit. <laughs> so give it throttle. And you're going to want to modulate your uh, throttle hand to be able to keep the front end up or drop it to come back down. So that's for second gear. Now depending on the speed of your second gear sit down, you're going to want to give it a little pull back or yank back. 
I can give you a short demonstration of that, but I'm not going to be able to get up to a lot of speed here. So the body motion is going to look pretty much like this. You're going to snap back to pull it up. And that's, that's if you're going a little bit faster for a second gear. Um, I am geared right now at a minus one plus two, but it doesn't mean that you can't do it in a normal gearing. I learned how to, I learned how to wheelie on uh, normal gearing. All the wheelie tip videos that I did before were all normal gear wheels or normal, yeah, normal gearing. So all the wheelie tips were normal gearing. Second gear again, cover the rear brake. <laughs> All right, and let's go over some stand ups. Stand ups is something that you're going to be using on long straightaways. You're going to want to drop the peg, cover the rear brake, stand up, bring the foot back, and do it just like you would do a second gear clutch up. was in second gear I can do the stand-ups in third uh, but I I don't think I was able to get it in stock gear and I can't remember if I was able to do it or not so um, pretty much you just want to learn slow <laughs> learn slow Now finding your balance point is uh, a nice tricky subject. Um, <laughs> finding your balance point is is all you. I, I can't I can't tell you how to do it. You just have to get out there and practice. But you got to be very careful in how you do it. All right. So second gear. I'm gonna shoot for a balance point, but I can't promise anything. the RPMs in pretty much the same position. You'll be able to hold the RPMs in pretty much the same position once you find balance point. Make sure when you land that your bars are straight. And I'll show the uh, the other video when I was doing the wheelie practices on this road uh, with Nick um, to show the little bounce effect that you that you're gonna want to do for uh, the wheelies. I'll do a I guess a slow motion clip of it or something. But you're gonna want to thrust your uh, your weight down on your rear feet to kind of like right as you're popping the clutch. Let's try it again. as you get more advanced and stuff like that and you learn your bike you can do it like right off the stoplights in first gear it's kind of fun you just see people like holy crap like now you see the sway the, the bike swaying back and forth that's gonna happen um, with uh, normal tire pressure which is what I'm at right now 
If you have a lower tire pressure, it gets your balance a little bit easier. And uh, better balance is also good with acceleration. If you're accelerating and you continue to accelerate, uh, your bike is more likely to stay in a straight line.